Hello, I'm Patrick and uh, I've got a little fun exercise for you I call Twisted Nursery Tales. Now, uh, I quite often bang on about story structure uh, and how it's important to at least have a vague idea where your story is going. But actually, the mechanics of story structure can be quite boring. It's not the fun part. The fun part is writing the characters. The fun part is your style of writing, expressing yourself and all that lot. So this little exercise throws story structure out of the window. You don't need to think about it because you're going to already have a story structure there. And that's where the twisted fairy tale part comes in. I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, it's one you probably know. It's a oft-told nursery tale called Three Little Pigs. And it goes something like this. You might have heard different versions. This is my version of it. So there was once upon a time three little pigs who lived with their mum. And then my mum one day, for whatever reason, said, you've got to go and make your own way in the world. So the three little pigs go off and they've got nowhere to live. And they're walking down the street and the first little pig comes across some hay and uh, is not the sharpest knife in the drawer and he goes, I'm going to make a house out of hay. So he does. But then a big bad wolf comes along and the big bad wolf wants to eat the little pig in his house of hay. So the big bad wolf says, little pig, little pig, let me in. And the little pig says, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And then the big bad wolf says, all right, well, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And then he does. And then he eats the little pig. Now, the second little pig is still going on down the road. And uh, he comes across some twigs and goes, I'm going to make my house out of these sticks. Much better than hay. Uh, also not the sh sharpest knife in the drawer. So he makes his house out of twigs. And then the wolf comes along and he goes, uh, little pig, little pig, let me in. And the little pig goes, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the big bad wolf goes, all right then, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he does. And then he eats the little pig. Now the third little pig, who was waiting for something better than twigs and hay, comes across a pile of bricks from somewhere. I don't know where. It's probably stolen off a building site or something. But anyway, he decides to make his house out of bricks. Much more sensible. Much harder to blow in. So he builds his house, the wolf comes along and says, little pig, little pig, let me in. And uh, the little pig goes, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And then the wolf goes, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And then he does not blow the house in because it's made out of bricks. Right, so the three little pig story, we're going to use that as our story structure. Now, obviously, there's not much uh, in the way of character there. There's three little pigs, and they're just three little pigs. There's Mummy Pig, and she's just Mummy Pig. And then there's the Big Bad Wolf, who's just a Big Bad Wolf. We don't really know a great deal about these characters or anything. But you're going to rewrite your version with all that in. And uh, this is where the twisted part comes to it. So, you can take the characters and you can make them good, you can make them bad. You can make the mum evil, you can make uh, the little pigs good, you can make the little pigs horrible and the mum really good. You can do whatever you want to the story, but you can write it in your own style, adding your own characters. Now, I'm going to start off my version of Three Little Pigs, and this time I'm going to do it in a, a comical fashion, because I quite like writing comical stuff. But I'm going to take the basic structure of the Three Little Pigs, make it funny, but I'm going to decide that the pigs are horrible. They're horrible little pigs, and there's a good reason why the mum kicks them out and makes them move somewhere else. Right, this is my comical version of Three Little Pigs. Porky, Rasher, and Scratchings were three right horrible little pigs who lived with their mam in a lovely little cottage at the bottom of Bacon Lane. One morning, Porky decided he didn't want boring, stupid cereal for breakfast. No, ma'am, said Porky. Don't want your boring, stupid cornflakes. I want chips. Yeah, said Rasher, deciding this was an excellent idea. We want chips. Yeah, 
with gravy and tomato ketchup, said Scratchings, who had also decided chips was an excellent idea for breakfast. You can't have chips for breakfast, said their mum, gazing wearily through bloodshot eyes at her three monstrous children. She hadn't slept for days. This week alone, the three horrible pigs had set fire to the carpet, weed in the kettle, drawn rude pictures all over the bedroom wall, and slapped a badger. The badger in question being their postman. They slapped him because he didn't bring them lots of good stuff from Amazon. I, right, so that's the start of my three little pig story. I can then have a reason for the mum getting rid of them. Maybe she uh, sells the house without telling them and moves out and some new people walk in they have to find their own place. But anyway, the mum's good. They're horrible. And maybe they can carry on being horrible. Uh, they can be horrible to the wolf, who's actually not that big and not that bad. And they're just really horrible to him. Uh, now, I've got another version. Now, this version is a lot darker. This is my dark version of three little pigs with elements of horror. And it goes something like this. It was cold, bitterly cold and dark. Sammy, Tim and Lily were sleeping in the cellar. Huddled together, shivering under a single thin blanket. They were grateful for the blanket. They had spent many long cold nights in their cellar without one. Sam, Tim and Lily were three little pigs. Far smaller than their age would suggest. They often went hungry. They only ever ate what few scraps were left after their mother had already eaten. So, that's a dark version. You can carry that on and the mother kicks them out because she's horrible and then maybe the big bad wolf is a sort of horror movie sort of wolf so it's not the little pig little pig let me in it's a howling across moors that they hear and they're running trying to escape first pig he he finds some bales of hay and he just hides in them and but the wolf gets him next one etc you can go as dark as you like uh no i don't want you to copy the ones that i've just done i want you to come up with your own ideas your own take on the pigs your own take on the mom your own take on uh, the walls, but you can make it as twisted as you like. Have fun with it. Uh, use the story structure that you've already got set there from Three Little Pigs and uh, write something really fun. Hope you enjoy it.